Take a look at the sheet. If you don't have the sheet, I will describe it to you until you get it. Um, and I purposely let you guys kind of struggle on your own. We were talking about multimodality and looking at symbols in games to figure out what they mean. Okay. Now, there are five questions, and the five questions relate to the five different types of multimodality found in games. And this comes from Sam Von Giller. He's a professor at Texas A&M. He's someone I worked with. And for looking at a game, we can categorize that game into five different aspects. Um, and there on the back, there's little dashes there, and you can see the multimodality sensory display and feedback, the game rules, mechanics and system, story and dramatic elements, and the opportunities for personalization, as well as the opportunities for social engagement. So these characteristics of a game help define the game as to its qualities, especially when it comes to literacy and multimodality. And I heard some stuff on the threads in the live stream last time about like, what's multimodality? Who thinks they have an idea of what multimodality is? That's a tough one. What is multimodality? Maybe what do you think? How, or this just, yes. Maybe how something is expressed or, I don't know. Okay, something, how it's expressed. Let's break that word apart, multi. What's multi mean? Multiple, multiple, many. And what about modal? What's modal? Model? Mode? What's mode? Like game mode. Type. If I'm saying choose your game mode, it's, it's kind of, huh? Kind of. It's like, a, it's like a type of something, right? A mode, on or off, hard, uh, very hard, uh, easy. Yeah, a mode. So multimodality is like the many ways, the many types. So the many types of literacy in this is kind of how we see literacy. So we look at the game rules, the personalization, the story elements. And if you go down even further, you see that little boxed out area down here. That's talking about types of communicative symbols. And when we talk about multimodality, we're really looking at these types of symbols. Oral, visual, abstract, tactile, dynamic. These help us make sense and make meaning of our gameplay. And game designers use multimodality to not just tell the gamer what to do, but to show them what to do. And so your questions uh, a couple days ago were to look at the multimodal symbols, the things in the game that help you understand what to do based on what you see based on how you interact with the game. That's really important because if we were reading a book, we could only read what we were supposed to imagine. We can't have any impact on it. The words are the only things that essentially guide our thinking. But in the games, we have many different things. Visual cues, we have sounds, we have all these things that we've seen here on the list. We have still images, we have written language, we have abstract symbols, and even tactile experiment, like experiences to help us kind of figure out where we're going. So when you turn the page and look at these questions, they're going to help you understand what it is you're doing when you're playing a game and how the game helps you do that. So question one, what types of multimodal symbols does the game use to present information to you? The gamer. And if you looked at that back table, you would see what type of clues. In, a, in like a print-based text, we call them print, like context clues. What types of things in that sentence help us understand the next one? Well, in a game, we might look through that little barred gate and see that there's a gong that needs to be hit with an arrow. But no one ever says, hit the gong with your arrow. You have to kind of infer that that's what you're supposed to do because you can't quite get to it. And it makes sense that if I had something to shoot, maybe I, I, I could shoot that, and then maybe that would... No one in the game ever tells you that. You're supposed to figure it out through the symbolic interpretation. So, number two, describe what these multimodal symbols conveyed while you played. Like, what did they tell you to do? Um, and in the game world, aside from, let's say, when you were like, man, this place is, is beautiful, it's really nice. 
But the architecture, the stairways, the hallways, the way the maze is designed lets you know what you're supposed to do. There's no written instruction how to get out of that maze at all. You get up there and you look up top and you're like, shoot, what am I supposed to do? And there's no help bar that says, turn left, right, left, 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 right, up, up, down. Up. You know, it's not what happens. You have to figure it out. Three. Okay. How do these informative symbols influence your decision making during gameplay? So, depending on what happens, how does that influence you? That's important, right? Because a player playing the game can be influenced different ways. You could play the game differently than you'll play the game, even though it's the same maze. If we all live streamed and watch how each of us made decisions based on that part of the maze, we'd all have different times to complete it, we'd all have different decisions, and that speaks to this as an example. If we read a book though, and we were to read line by line, I think we'd all come similar to the same conclusion, it would just be a matter of how fast you read, right? Where in a game, it's a, it's a matter of how fast you can kind of interpret what's going on. All right, number four. What did you learn through your decisions? Well, you might say, oh, I'm trash. I'm a god. Whatever, sure. But what that really is is an evaluation of yourself. Maybe you learned that you are good at solving puzzles. Maybe you learned that you are good at reading small little clues in a game that help you solve things. Like, when I listened to the live stream last time, it was like someone's like, oh, wait, remember you have to do that? And the player's like, Oh yeah, like I wouldn't, I forgot, like you guys are smart. I, I don't, you know, I forgot that. Um, and that's the collective mind playing the game. But if it's just you, sometimes you're like, ah, oh, why can't I figure this out? You know, and you feel stupid when you finally figure out what you're supposed to do. When, if we were all gaming together, Ediana's like, you're an idiot, you need to go left. Remember that one thing that told you to do that? And you're like, oh yeah. And that's kind of how we all do it. What do you got? Third formal two. Yeah. What do you think about Portal 2? How does this relate? It's a good thing, but like, it, there's like obvious puzzle pieces and you see everything. But once you figure it out, it's like, I, I just should have done that. And it's tough. Yeah, it's yeah. it, it, like, you figure it out and then you, you seem like you think that you're really dumb for not figuring it out beforehand. And it took you like an hour to figure it out. Yeah, because when I was playing, I was like, oh, it's Portal, so it should be complicated. You know, there's this, there's this, there's this. Mm -hmm. and like you only use half of it to get you to the end. It's like, maybe we can play Portal in here. That was uh, initially last year a game that we played in small groups, and it, I had the big hand guide or whatever. But it was that's a good example. Last one. How do you feel about analyzing video games through examining these symbols, decision making, and learning? So today I'd like you to answer a couple of those. We've been doing this now. This is the sixth day we've been playing. We're gonna beat this game. We're gonna get all the trophies, hopefully. Um, I, uh, let's just say two questions on this, so we'll save the last one for day seven, any one you choose. Just make sure now that you have four questions filled out by the end of today. Not a big deal. Let's get uh, into playing, though. Who's up to play? Isaiah. Isaiah, do you have the controller? No, sir. Take control. Let's get going. <laughs> If you've answered all the questions, you may want to try and go back and see if maybe my lecture helps you understand a little bit more so your answers are more succinct. Um, the whole idea of this is to help you understand literacy and multimodality, something that I think most teachers, in a sense, may not necessarily understand either. And so you guys will be ahead of the pack. Who's the starting Who's 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 <laughs> Maybe yeah, that, that might be in a sense. Wait, there are two buttons up there. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't yeah. see those buttons before. There you go. Okay, that's, we're, we're gonna need the robot up here. That's key. Down there, it's gonna there you go. Now we're already making progress.
Yeah. How would you know that? Oh, See, the game doesn't yeah. tell you. Go, go back up. Be there's scared. two buttons. Like, there's 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 one. One. Look back at the broken bridge. There's another bridge. If you look up to the left, there's another bridge that gets down to it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, so you take the game through there. Just take the bottom. Yeah, the gate back. Oh, yeah, careful. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh yeah, I'm about to get jumped. No, just run. Just run, homie. Just run. Here we go, multi modality speaking. Right as we fly. Oh yeah, another base. Um, Anyone else? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
I just like stop. You just stop. When that you just take one enemy kills you, scroll over that enemy kills you before you get there. You gotta that was so good. That was really stupid. Three, two, one. Alright, let's get this headshot. I've got this button map in the sky. You know what? See that corner peak? <laughs> 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 say no, say no Fortnite. We ain't gonna get jumped by some dudes from Delta, dude, Tom. Okay, great. Okay, I'm just going wow. in a circle. Wow! Wow! Nice. Who do you think I am? Eat! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Combo. That's fine. Don't get me. Don't get me. I believe. I think we're going to I think you're going backwards. Eat. Uh, you don't have a shield. Eat. I'll need a shield. No, I'm talking about them. They like put up their arm for no reason. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, 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 I gotta make sure they don't lose. You have to go up those stairs. The middle stairs. You have to go up those. Okay. okay. So we gotta yeah. get to the so middle we're stairs. Gonna, you, should, you have to make a lever to the maze to do it. No, no, we gotta, yeah, we gotta get into the maze, figure out the middle lever. Right. Right. It was just less in the maze than the last time. Okay. Right What's there. this? Oh, you think? If you find yeah. enemies, that means you're going in the right direction. Just keep going that way. Yeah, that seems like no. I don't want to right just run right. no, no, up no, on no, a big guy, though. though. There's some weird glowy stuff. You're gonna have to, dude. You can melt it. Oh, that was. Oh! That was just a wall of nukes. You threw a fire grenade. Where am I going? I'm going to the peak. Another chain reaction. Shoot one arrow. Oh! I'm about to release one. Or release the hounds. Oh god. Oh, really? oh, oh, God! Run! No, don't take your arm. You can go to the street alleyways. <laughs> 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 oh, God! 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 Oh, the skinny pecker. Don't, 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 don't forget right. the fat dude. Don't fall off. Yeah. Eat. Eat. <laughs> no, stand. Stand still. Eat. Please. Dude, what if the giant Eat. starts throwing the music? You're faster. Like, I don't. Barely. 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 Oh wait, no, that. Yeah, yeah there we go. We're on the right. Oh, 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 I like that one that said follow the enemies. That's probably where you should go. Think about that with multimodality. How did he infer that that's what you're supposed to do? It was a meme. It was a meme. I saw it. There's a meme. Oh, oh. oh my Here we go. Another cannon will hurt. So my soldier is on the other side. Yeah. 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 Alright, then jump off onto the bridge. There was a weird sound Jump thingy. off the bridge. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Shoot it, shoot right. it. Shoot it. You want to just jump off the bridge. Oh, it's Ooh. time. It's time. Oh. oh. It's a time ball thing. Oh. Alright, run. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm learning things, man. Calm. Just get inside it. Oh, Sad face. <laughs> Oh my god! No! Utter disappointment. Go! Yeah, it's just press. Extra big bashes. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Now save it. Alright, save it. It's shaking. Well, there's a spooky. Left or right? Right. Yeah, stay right. Spooky right is always the right. Flip a coin. Wow. Why you gotta hate on the left people? Jesus. Where's this go? So. Demonte, pass it. Well, after you're done losing this one. Yeah, you have to lose that one. Give me the... Oh, there There's is. one right there. Yep. What does oh. this do? So you gotta fire... Oh! Oh my god! Oh. So you fire that one. Pass it. Who's that next? There you go. Oh. So you fire the... Oh. 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 He has to run. 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 He has to run.
Start writing down some answers to your multimodality questions today. Think about what we've talked about with the puzzle. The you want to fire? I would maybe this one, because that one takes a little Ooh, bit. That that one. Oh, you don't want to speak up either, huh? No. That's okay. I remember that. Yeah, see? That so one's short to... We got a save point, which is nice. What are you doing? Uh, I didn't give you a lot of time to write on it today. I feel bad, so yeah. don't worry about it. Just, uh, just do the rest. Yeah, we'll do the rest next time. It's not a big deal. We had a good lecture with it. Uh, put them on my desk if you could. And let's pause the live stream. Hit the share button. On the yeah, Eric doing the application. Then we'll be good to go. Good job today. Have fun with the...